Well, I guess I'll have a couple of half hour videos for like the you know past couple of days to throw out, but whatever. I guess half an hour is not like a bad amount of time to show off for this game, I guess. This makes the series a little bit longer. Alright, so I actually looked up where Pildrick basically was. He's on like the first level of Dead Fall, so I'll have to basically like use track or something to find him. <clears throat> Shouldn't take too long, but whatever. So let's see here, track. I should probably keep track basically, like, you know, here for now, so. Where are you, Pale Drake? This is the only real problem, like, you know, some of these, like, backup bosses, like, trying to, trying to find sometimes. Actually, I wonder if he didn't spawn. Nope, there he is, right there, so. Literally, the last place I need to look, he's right there. Annoying, but whatever, that's fine. There's Pale Drake, the skeleton boss backup guardian. You know, in hindsight, I probably should have had like the disposition room for this guy, but whatever. Let's pin him to the ground for a moment. And let's start this off with a bang with this. So, he made an image of himself, I guess, right there. Mirror, mirror image, so. Something you can basically do. Let's grab him. I believe he's still here, so... Let's tear through him slowly, I guess. Youch. You know, this is not the greatest place to be fighting this guy because he's basically right, like, you know, um, in a corridor. I really want to be, like, be like you know, outside we can put, like, you know, devourers and stuff around him. Did he just face door me? Bastard. He's not there anymore, unless he's invisible. Great, now I get to go look around for him again. Up oh, there he is. Do this. Basically, dragon basically up here. Let's 
Let's just start dropping these guys right here. Oh, okay, so I want to note that this guy has like the same sort of abilities that the Master has, where like, you know, if he basically dies once, he basically just comes back to life, so he just basically did that to himself. Preemptively activate that. I really don't care about riffing hairs, but this might be useful to like, you know, sort of hurt him a little bit, so... Let's do that. Alright, there we go, we killed Pill Drake. got my proxy point for it, as well as like, you know, level 4 too. You know, I'm not exactly sure when I use my proxy point basically for at this point, so I might just hold on to it for a moment, but whatever. Maybe we'll get Giant Leap. Something to figure out basically later on, but whatever. Just keep boosting this basically up over here, I guess. You know, I'm actually tempted to start boosting up my like willpower a little bit to so, like, get to, like you know access this stuff a little bit, a bit better. I mean, it's not like I have to throw all my like points into uh, you know cutting here, so let's boost this up here a little bit, and then we'll just go here and we'll like you know get more darkness and blight damage. Let's get this just for hell of it. Get some more magic on you. Warp boots. These things apparently do spit blight, so interesting. I might keep those around for the willpower. I mean, I need willpower, right? So that's helpful. This is tier five, by the way, just may, so it might be worth giving to my friend. Uh, ups cutting and dexterity. Similar weapons, but you know. Let's get rid of that for now. So we finally got Pale Drake basically out of the way there, so awesome. Now we should kill the Corruptor by the way, so. There he is. By the way, I'm talking to this guy right now before, like, you know, he gets, like, you know, too weak to, like, one shot him, so. Some thoughts, basically, like, you know, on why I'm basically attacking him right now. Hmm. Let's do that to him. I'm trying to knock off these skulls here a little bit, so... He is taking damage to this guy, by the way, so, like, the more he like, basically takes, like, right now before, like, he fear escapes me, that's, like, you know, good. Eh, he's going after a mirror image, so that's interesting. For those who don't know, <laughs> for those who don't know, the Grand Corruptor can basically fearscape you, so I'm just being wary of it a little bit here. 
Fear escape, level 7 right there, so... The more my friends beat him up, the better, basically, so... Alright, so, wait, Riffing 1. I see you are a worthy opponent, powerful indeed. I can see and feel your master of the Eldritch Grass. We are the same. What do you mean the same? We both know the strength of the Arcane. We both hunger for power. There is so much I have discovered, so much I could teach you. This place is special. The Veil of Reality is thin here. Forever shattered by the spell blaze. We are taking advantage of this. We can draw of the, of the power. Leech in front of this place to better ourselves. Bring forth the Minion Magic. What do you propose, Dan? Let us end, end this meaningless fight. Have you heard of a group of people called Ziggurumph? These rambling madmen think magic should be should not be permitted to exist. They fear us. They fear our powers. Let us join forces and crush the fools. Well, why not? Let's go kill a Ziggurumph for like, you know, this episode, so good. Before your uh, untimely arrival, we were preparing to attack the main training camp on the southern beach of the Sea of Shash. Come with us, let's destroy them. I will open a portal to Ziggur, and the massacre shall begin. I'm ready. Alright, so, the Fall of Ziggur! You decide to side the Grand Corruptor and join forces to assault the Ziggur from main base of power. They'll pay for their, like, you know, impromptu attack on me, on me, on me before, so to speak, so... Time for him to die. Nope, oh, there's basically Missile coming over to say hi. Uh, she's gonna be here in a moment, so... Just drop those right there. Let's just grab her for a moment. I guess the Grand Crupper's doing okay here. I'll not probably want the Grand Crupper to survive this fight because, like, you know, if they basically fall. Um, then they can't, like, you know, help you out with, like, the, you know, the buff, basically, to give you after. There we go! Anti-anti-magic! The Grand Corporal gazes upon you, feel knowledge pulling into your mind, you can now train some corruption powers. Uh, I have no idea who's gonna get this, I guess I'll go to where it walks. There's the worm nest. Alright, well there we go. We crushed the um the Zingarf here. So what's the worm nest basically do? So this unusual little thick row constantly wriggles and scrams. Small worms uh, sometimes pop out of it, drop it to the floor. The worms will cushion the toxic against a person, but you somehow don't like the idea of de having these present creatures so close to your rumble fresh. So this basically gives me blight damage, movement speed, spell um, power, spell critical chance, magic stat, change resistance to all. So this is like an interesting like piece of like, you know, interesting item, but I don't think it's one I don't really care about, but whatever. It's there. We'll just go search around I think at this point for the rest of the Ziggurum, so...
Let's do this. I feel three times with confusion there. Get over here. Alright, well. I have no idea if this is basically boosted up this guy's corruption power or not, but whatever. I didn't really care about the reward he basically gives, but you know, whatever. Alright, well, is the Marcus Spellblaze basically done? Hopefully that means less Zigger Patrol to be walking around, uh, out and about at this point, so... There is that. I'm trying to think here, by the way. We want to go to Rectonar bases so we can fight that, like, you know, monstrosity over here, I guess. I never opened this chest, okay. Uh, I keep through this, but nothing to really care about, so. Onward. There's Lefangle. There we go. Oh, the room of reflection. That's nice. So there's the room of reflection, by the way. Look at all that reflecting power Spring basically has, because I have like max magic on my character. Though, so, you know what? Because I basically have access to like, you know, shed skin here, I might want to give a space to my like friend instead. So let's turn to the par party. These are all tier 5 items at this point, by the way, so I'm looking at everything at this point. That goes, does give willpower this one here, but whatever. I need 46 willpower, you know, just to, or 48 willpower to wield this thing, so it doesn't really matter. See, I basically got some stuff in here for this guy to wield. I think that's like the best weapon I got right there because it got the most bit damage on it right there. There's some nice stuff in his other stuff here, but you know. Kind of speed would be nice, but whatever. Honestly, this thing I don't think this is like as important right now, so let's give it back to him. We'll wield that base right there. This is what I basically gave him, but you know, it doesn't really matter, so let's just transfer it back. So yes, this room of reflection, I'm actually thinking I might put on one of his, like, you know, things here, so... That gives me, like, you know, 500, like, regeneration, which is, like, not bad. That gives him, like, you know, 500 shielding, but, you know... But basically, now what's gonna happen is whenever my worm that walks gets hit, he'll basically, like, you know, reflect the damage back of things, so... That should be pretty interesting for, like, you know, my character here.
So apparently this guy has hate on him. I don't know why he's got hate, but okay. Well, the thing was fun. There's still some Ziggur patrols out and about, but that's fine. Alright, Tan, let's say hello. Alright, so this guy wants me to go back to, um, Brecknor now. Another basic just of it basically is like, you know, you can basically your hand orb over to him, and it'll basically, like, you know, be like, hey, go over to his tower. Or you can basically go for the optional, like, you know, task basically of, like, going over to, like, you know, um, Brecknor basically to investigate with the, like, Elven Crown Master and being sent to Fierce Cape instead. So, that's what we're gonna do right now, we're just gonna go Fierce Cape. Because this is a fake! The Mock Orb of Many Ways. So let's go fight some demons here. So some rifflings over there. Up there. Does he kill them all? So, I know this is tends to be like the easier, like, you know, um, the easier area to basically go for if you're basically, like, you know, trying to skip back to, like, you know, the far, far east. The only thing really dangerous is going to be to say, you know, he's like, you know, um, rune ghost like this guy. And basically everything else here is just like, you know, just ruffle stomp, so to speak, territory. Alright, here's basically a rare. A sun pound, apparently. Interesting. Let's grab him. Get him to the ground. Bam. Bam. I guess we killed him with tentacle constriction of all things. Do 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 do. Why don't I just do this and that? Off them. 
That was probably my feet aren't bringing this area, because, like, you know, it's not like a natural fear escape. Oh god, they're rushing. They're everywhere! Slow but surely killing off everything here. Not a rare, interesting. Grab him. I don't really need to do that, but whatever, just kill him that way. Hey, there he is. So, here's basically Graver the Imp, an intensely irritating gift of a monster. No problem, this guy's basically all about being like this annoying for the most part, so... That'll be interesting. Let's drop that right there. Basically, the idea of like this guy is like to use the phase door all over the place. So, gotta deal with a bunch of, you know, phase doors from this guy here. Uh, inner demons, annoying. I didn't realize this guy could do that, but what's you know, gonna be like, you know, whatever. This is where, like, you know, relentless, like, you know, pursuit would be nice. Drop this on him. Ow. Not sure if it's poison, but whatever, let's do that. Alright, this doesn't take like any like, you know, time to use this like ability, so. As annoying it falls, a poor old appears on its corpse, so we can basically escape now. Oh, I just realized something. A lot of these basically they're like, you know, not mine. Basically, these are like all things that my like, you know, uh, mirror image basically summoned on me, so annoying. Alright, that's done. Get this up a little bit more over here. A little more willpower is not going to hurt me. Boost that up. Get my friend. And let's give him a couple more magic points for this reflection shield. Let's corrupt the gaze. Pucks your subconscious. Backing there again. Well, let's just take a look at what we basically picked up at this point. So, I request like started wield anyway, so don't really care about it. What power for those? So, this gives you like a boost to your willpower. That might be worth keeping. For me. I just want to just clean up the level and, like, you know, be out here, I guess. Oops, I guess we're a little low on insane at the moment. You know, that's the only thing I could I, I say I really hate about the Riffin one. They basically, like, are slow to start up. 
They need to like hit something first, which means I like you know have to jump in like the melee. I suppose it sort of makes them like you know they're not like your typical this ca um standoff caster type of like you know character or whatever. There's the portal. So that's done. I guess we can uh, quickly do a tannin, so... Alright, well, let's go deal with Tannin. We've already seen the lore, so whatever. Do 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 do. Grab this guy and we'll go splat, splat. I guess we'll fight some Rexies over here. Hey, look at that, we got the, uh, you know, last bit, bit of drama's demystification here. Alright, so, we got... Kugorja. Kugorja was a god of time and possibilities. What stand out, stands out about Yael's myths regarding Kugorja is how wildly inconsistent they are. In particular, tales about the god hand tend to have a far less favorable outlook of the god than pre hunt myths. I think I read this one, by the way, but whatever. Speculation regarding this is due to Kugorja's so, so, supposedly taking an interest in written history, and appoint its own librarians to record its tales. Since there's no surviving records of the library existing, this theory is considered to be pure conjecture, and has no concrete evidence to validate it. There has been unusual records found too, supposedly written by the same authors on the same dates, but widely varying in her tone and description of the god itself. Given the god's ability to control time, it is thought these notes might be from altered timelines, further excusing the truth about the god itself. Tricoria was also thought to be responsible for the create you know you read this section, but you can't remember it. It's almost like something has deliberately erased it from your mind. So basically, yeah, basically it's, it's one like you know, now you basically like, you know, absorbed. Interesting. So we got all the lore for like Dremnot here. It's done. Oh yeah, worms. Let's grab him. I forget if there's like m more two worms basically in this room, but whatever. Whatever, Leroy Jenkins. Just one, so whatever. Alright, just in our digger. Gives me seven strength, don't really care. Mirror images. I'm drowning, by the way. I probably could, like, you know, avoid this by, like, just, like, you know, putting on a proper, like, you know, equipment, but whatever. I don't feel like it. It's not that hard to level. I 
I think he, he drowned my like, run of walks, by the way. You can drown. He's back, for now. Do this. Ow. Well, throwing a rare it gets a little bit more difficult, I guess. Let's just hang over here for a moment. Alright, this guy's over here. I'm just gonna grab him for a moment. Kill him. Let's do this. Tank will grab him. You are still not dead. You are still not dead. I guess Oomasters are pretty powerful. You know, I've never actually played Oomaster yet. A class I probably should play at some point. And of course, nothing was this way, so... That's all done. My buddy's back. I don't know why the screen's shaking, but okay. I got pinned. Let's just get rid of that. Ah, people open a door over here. Sorry, that. It's always fun to pull things into their own shot like that. Glory of our red. Alright, where'd that Dreadmaster go? There he is. Alright, let's go fight Tannen. That gives a little willpower, I guess, so we'll keep this. Oh, that's two hands, so it doesn't matter. Whatever. Alright, so I got the drill, and I got this guy here to basically deal with.
Dark takes a turn to use, by the way, so whatever. Let's just jump over here. Pin them to the ground. I don't know where these guys popped up from, but okay. The famous point invisible there. Right, I forgot if I move I actually like, you know, shuffle the entire you know area basically around me, so not useful. He's dead. That's the only bad thing about overgrowth, by the way. Basically, like, it makes you more powerful, but at the cost of, like, you know, shaking everything around you, like, you know, it's nothing. You've got reflective skin on, which is annoying, but oh well. With that with this. And there we go. Tan has fallen. Which basically means I get to like, you know, go back to the fire spinner I want to now. This is a good weapon. We'll call a willpower again this one. We'll keep that. And there we go, there's a guy from Anglin. And Harold basically does his job and makes like, you know, the fire portal. Hooray! Gonna sell stuff here. All right. Well, at this point, basically, I've like done what I want to for this episode. We basically, like, you know, kill off the backup guards, kill off like you know Tannen. It's all good and like dandy for the most part. Probably the next thing I'm gonna do, by the way, is go over here to like you know. Um, The volcanic character called there over here. But whatever, that'll be for next time. It really shows that even like uh, on just like uh, one like definitely higher, like you know, this stuff is tougher and like nightmare. But whatever. Hope I spicy enjoyed the episode and take care.